what this article is about. I mean, it's again, it's letting the people know out there what they need to avoid so they can keep their bodies healthy. In this report, there was only two fast food, food chains that got an A-plus rating, and that was Panera and Chipotle. Uh, there was Chick-fil-A, got a B rating. McDonald's and Dunkin' Donuts were C. Well, they all loaded was, was up. Surprised you me. know, at least Chipotle attempts to go GMO-free. He brought up an interesting point, though, in terms of the casualties. If, if we were to go to war and 50,000 people died from something, it would be a big deal. Or if there was a terrorist attack and 50,000 people died from something, it's a big deal. We would probably go to war with another country if they launched a terrorist attack in the United States and killed 50,000 people. We would go to war with that nation. But here we are with the individuals in the United States pushing this kind of stuff on us, whether it's the GMOs or whatever it is, really ultimately killing us, millions and millions of people, and we're not doing anything. Yet we have a war on drugs. We have a war on drugs. And cocaine and heroin combined doesn't kill nearly as many as, as legal painkillers. So and, you really have to wonder where the focus is. It's obviously in the wrong places. Well, the war on drugs has not been successful and it's gotten worse because that's a money generating scenario for the government anyway and the pharmaceutical companies. So it's just like legal speed when you have your Adderall. and, and It's an amphetamine. Adderall is a pure amphetamine. Exactly. So it's just legal drugs is what it is. So uh, again... You, if you create disease, create conditions, if you look at, let's say, some of the new procedures and medications being created, it's all going towards mental illness because it's the there's no diagnostic testing for that. You know, there's no x-rays there. There's no CT scans or PET scans or anything or blood work that can say, OK, you have depression. Basically, they say it's a chemical imbalance in the brain. But we all know that that's the easiest way for them to prescribe medications to pregnant women, to children at an early age, to get them on some sort of medication for life. You know, I want to talk about that, too. I want to get to some calls here in a minute as well for you on a number of different subjects. But overall, talk about depression. And I look at the call board right now and I see a number of people talking about how depressed they are and talking about how upset they are with things in the state of the world, which I totally understand, and I feel you in many different ways, and I've been there. I've felt like that before. And I think there are four different factors right now that are affecting us in a serious way that I want to get into either now or later in the program. I also want to get to this other news here as well. But if you think about it, how many people are depressed? If you think about that right now, how many people are so upset and depressed and they feel powerless, and they feel like they can't do anything, right? Well, we're here to change that, number one. But secondarily, it comes down to about four different things that I found out. Number one, it is your consumption of media. How many people out there, as we talked about earlier, are watching the actual nightly news, not the InfoWars nightly news, the nightly news, watching the shootings, the war, the attacks, the debates, the presidential you know, garbage. It's all, it's all thrown out in our face, and we're felt to be powerless. We're told we're powerless. We're told we can't do anything. That's a total lie. That's a total, total lie. And the second thing is, though, our health consumption, which is what we're talking about. Obviously, these corporations that are destroying our health have deep roots in the government. Here's an article. EU panel, panel rejects bid to stop Monsanto weed killer. Sales of the herbicide, which contained in 750 products, must stop in December. So what happened is the EU was actually going to block glyphosate and Roundup because it's been known linked to cancer. But, of course, they blocked that out. And that's the number two way that all of us feel so powerless and helpless. And here comes Alex into hey, the studio. Guys, I don't mean to interrupt. We're sort of interrupt away. Questions. Come on in. We're taking people's questions on here. And I want to get to these callers, too. Yeah, we're going to. Some of these folks have been holding and going to the other studio in a while. There's Anthony Gucciardi and Dr. Drew. Alex is in here live right now on Facebook Mentions. You can find him on Facebook at Alex Jones and watch this live. That's right. Here we go. We're just giving a tour. Come on, Buckley. He's giving a tour of the office. <laughs> anyway, so we're back to the news and everything like that. But you should actually look up Alex Jones on Facebook and follow him. He does live streams every now and then on Facebook mentions where he's just hanging out. And it could be up to about an hour long, sometimes just hiking on a trail. It's pretty cool stuff. It's amazing, which actually reminds me of the first point, too, because live streaming is defeating media. Twitch.tv, which is a website where mostly people play video games, gets one channel can get 56 million views of someone sitting there playing Halo in their boxers all day for doing nothing and they can make 60 grand a month isn't that amazing 
It's it, the mainstream media and the television based media systems of the old media are dying. That's why Infowars now. That's why Alex wants to crash through the lies on television and start the new media system because everyone is so tired of it that they're looking for alternatives. They're looking into apps like Periscope where you live stream, Facebook mentions, Twitch.tv, all of the true actual live streaming stuff because reality TV is dying. They know that too. I mean, don't you just see this collapse, Dr. Group? Well, it's just demand. I mean, people want, I think people are waking up. They're kind of sick of seeing what's going on. They're sick of, they realize they've seen their parents die because they died of a disease and they, and they had to take care of their parents and they never got any better on medications. They're starting to see the lies that are being told uh, through mainstream media. So uh, the internet to me has done tremendous things as far as getting the information out there and, and waking people up. And it's really based on consumer demand. I mean, look at how natural health, organic uh, foods, look at how that has grown exponentially in the last 10 years. I can remember 15 years ago when you could stop 20 people on the street and ask them, you know, any question about natural health and they they didn't even pretty much know what it is, what alternative medicine was. And now everybody has a vitamin in their home, some form or another, whether it's a Flintstone vitamin from, you know, the drugstore or whatever, but people are becoming more educated about it and exactly what you're saying is People like that live interaction. They like to see what you're doing. They're, there's a fakeness. You know what I mean? There's like a yeah. fakeness to mainstream TV when they just sit up there. You know, you can almost see them reading off a teleprompter and everybody's so, you know, prim and proper and everything. And it's just, I think people can see through that. People like when you make a little mistake too. Like sometimes since this is teleprompter free, I'll be reading an article, I'll mess up a little bit. That just shows this is real. And it's funny because- yeah, It's just like live. Somebody sent me an email the other day, uh, last time I hosted the show, and they said, you do a really good job. You know, I can't even tell when you're reading a teleprompter and when you're not. You guys realize there's no teleprompter in here. <laughs> there's, this there's is absolutely full blown nothing. live. <laughs> I'm actually totally insane because I don't even come on here with notes most of the time. I just cover whatever is the hottest news and whatever is going on. But let's take a couple calls before we go to break. Let's talk to Dion, I believe I can read his name, from Illinois. He wants to talk to Dr. Group. What's going on, Dion? Yeah, I have a question for Dr. Group. Uh, what alternative lifestyle choices and uh, diet changes can we make for uh, heart enlargement and de chronic depression? Well, Dion, thanks for the call. Uh, chronic depression, you know, it's 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 really uh, kind of simple. First, you obviously want to figure out what the cause is of your chronic depression. But with doing a massive amount of liver cleansing and intestinal cleansing and just cleansing your body, uh, it's especially dating back in traditional Chinese medicine, you know, cleansing the liver works really, really good for depression. Also, the iodine as well, and drinking more water, believe it or not, and looking at some of the things you can do for happiness in your life. Uh, when we were seeing patients with cancer, they would come in, and one of the first questions I would ask them is, what are you doing for fun, and what makes you happy? That goes back to that hope say. and that lack of fe and that fear that's generated from the, from the medical uh, community. So, Taking walks in nature, exercise, drinking more water, eating organic foods. And, you know, an enlarged heart, believe it or not, usually is also con associated with a congested liver. Now, strangely enough, an enlarged heart can also be a problem with harmful organisms or parasites in your body. And there's no accurate testing in the medical profession for a lot of different things. And that's why there's so many misdiagnoses out there, you know, especially with the autoimmune diseases, with let's say an enlarged heart, it's really hard to pinpoint. That's why I believe that everybody has a self-healing mechanism and you have the ability to heal yourself. And just like for thousands of years, cultures have implemented strategic cleansing programs and once you clean your body you reactivate your body's self-healing mechanism 
and your body begins to heal itself and not only heal itself physically, but also mentally. Absolutely right. I want to ask Dion too, what's his passion? What's in his life? What does he do for fun? I think that's also key. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. This is the special Money Bomb Show. Go to InfoWarsStore.com. we got specials all over for all the products. Support the operation. We'll be right back with more news. And later on, Alex and InfoWars Nightly News. Welcome back to The Alex Jones Show. I'm Anthony Gucciardi sitting in for Alex Jones on this special Money Bomb Overdrive edition. We're going to take your calls and cover more news. We've got reports about pesticide exposure and what it could do to your children. We've got this new TV that sells for $133,000 and what it means and what it means for the future. We've got risks of vitamin deficiencies, tons of, tons of interesting stuff. But first and foremost, I want to get back to calls. I also want to talk about what this is all about, the money bomb, the InfoWars money bomb going to the next level. Alex wants to raise $1 million to reach over 400 million people. It's probably even more than that. His reach on social media alone is $1.6 billion with a B. And at InfoWarsStore.com right now, pretty much all the major flagship products are on sale. So even if, even if you don't care about any of this, you can still get products for really good discounts. And plus, you're getting an amazing product that funds the operation at the same time. We've got at InfoWarsStore.com and InfoWarsLife.com, 20% off Survival Shield X2, free shipping for the next 28 hours, 20% off Super Male Vitality, 20% off Brain Force, 15% off Deep Cleanse, 15% off Secret 12, 15% of Oxy Powder, and next hour at 3 o'clock, we are premiering one of the biggest discounts as well. Now, first and foremost, let's go to Chris in Kansas. He says he wants to talk about some health stuff. What's going on, Chris? Hey, good afternoon, guys. Thanks for taking my call. Uh, I'm, I'm really glad you guys are on today. I see it as a blessing from God because pertaining to my wife, I got some bad news of a call today. She was diagnosed last year with uh, GBM stage 1, they gave her some chemo and some stuff to control the seizures that directly resulted from that. Uh, she got a call from the doctor today in Tennessee, a specialist, and based on all the tests and everything he got from the various doctors we've seen, specialists, they think that the scar tissue on the back of her brain is actually spreading and penetrating her brain, and I'm just grasping at straws to see how and if there's any way we can prolong her life or even possibly reverse the scar tissue issue. Well, you know, I'm going to go ahead and say, first and foremost, that we're not giving medical advice on this show, and you should always consult with your physician. And I think it's always important to research and do your own stuff when it comes to health, but always consult with your physician, really, a healthcare provider, even if it's a, even if it's a naturopathic doctor. But Dr. Group, what do you have to say about that? Well, I mean, not knowing too much about your wife and going into detail, uh, what we used to use that worked really good and what I've used in the past for scar tissue is MSM, which is methyl siphonyl methane. Of course, I, I agree with Anthony that you should probably find a good natural health practitioner in your area. Maybe somebody that can do some ozone therapy as well. DMSO uh, is something that we've used to uh, work with scar tissue. High levels of enzymes, like a really good enzyme formula, uh, works fairly effectively as well. So uh, really getting back to the basics, and again, it's even if you start working on a condition and you're addressing the symptoms or trying to prevent a progression of some sort of illness, what you really want to look at is trying to identify the root cause of why that happened to begin with. Was it aspartame toxicity? Was it, you know, chemicals at work that she was exposed to? Uh, because no matter what you do, you really want to make sure that it doesn't come back and you want to have a lifestyle change. You want to incorporate more organic foods and you want to reactivate the self-healing mechanism. I know I talk about that all the time, but it, it was a shocking discovery for me to realize how powerful and, and to literally see hundreds of thousands of people working with them, cleansing their body, reactivating their body self-healing mechanism, avoiding all the chemicals and toxins in their life, how fast the body can heal itself. Exactly. I think so many people ask, hey, I'm at this point. What can I do for this now? You really want to ask how you got there, right? I mean, if you end up somewhere, you want to ask what road did you take to get to that point? All right, we're going to take some more calls in the next segment. Unfortunately, we have to drop calls from GCN. The new call-in number is 512-646-1776. 512-646-1776. Stay tuned. we got more news coming. The Nightly News and Alex will be joining the show again later today.